Winter? Oh boy. Oh, do we finally make it to the magical land of Canada? Luther, neutral. Alice, trusted, but not friend? Kara, playable character. <laughs> Talk to anyone. Oh, hey, we can. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Okay, talk to her. I can still talk to him, but... Okay, just a conversation with him, I guess. Do I got all the options? These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Um, look at the road. That was a long time to not be looking at the road, I'm sorry. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Oh, so that's plenty of time for me to ask the final question. Uh, or not! Uh, I knew it was stinking coming. Oh my god, the snow looks stinking beautiful. I'm always gonna obsess over snow, like, even in real life and games, like... People this don't like cool. ice levels or people don't like winter all that much, but I love the stuff. Whoa, that's a cool car! Stay inside, Alice. Inspect car engine. Well, where do I find this engine? I don't know anything about cars, so I'm being completely serious. Is it in the back? Apparently not. Is it in the front? Oh, okay, yeah, I know that at least. You could open up the front of a car. I guess that should have made sense, but whatever. If you expect me to fix this thing, you got another thing coming. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Well, time to walk. Wait, that's the way we came. So, um... Wait, which is the way we came? I guess it's not crazy to assume that other cars have gone through here, but I was just like, Oh, uh, tire tracks, we went this way. No, we went that way. Where is it? What was life? I don't know. Uh, so this is awkward. What do you expect us to do? We don't talk to Alice? I don't know. I like how we create footprints in the snow because that looks super cool. Find shelter. I assume the car's just gonna get colder and colder because, like, the engine's not working. So we can't sleep in the car, and that wouldn't really solve our problem. Can't talk to him anymore. Is that a thingy over there? I guess we'll go check out what that is. Ever so slowly. The snow looks super cool, oh my god. I haven't seen snow in so stinking long. Like, I don't remember if it snowed last December. Uh, who knows. Pirate's Cave! Over there. Oh, is she getting a piggyback? Oh, he's just carrying her. It's not as fun as a piggyback, but whatever. Still just as adorable. Wait a minute, pirates? We robots? To We're gonna find Frankie here! He's gonna save us! Oh my god! Of course, we have to get a one-piece like reference in there. For a while. So, it's safe to- well, actually, no, it's not safe to assume no one will be here. There's probably some rogue android or some crazy old man who's abducting androids. It's either one or the other. We got ourselves a Find whole lot anything? of nothing. Damage no. structure unsafe. No place we could spend the night. Uh, we got something over there and something over here. Adventure. Check. I said check. No good. 
Too windy for Alice. Well, maybe Alice just needs to become an android. That would be something if it turns out that the androids are made from real people. Like, I very rarely know what's going on. Like, something I kind of like about just being completely oblivious is that I watch other people play games. Like, I'm watching Super Genius play Persona 5 for the first time, and he gets stuff that is actually going to happen before it happens. And with me, I'm just completely oblivious, and, like, I'm always surprised by every single plot twist. And same thing like The Walking Dead, where people predict what's going to happen, then it actually happens. But I never get that done. The only time I've ever actually predicted everything that's gonna happen before it happens is with The Last of Us, which is why I actually don't like The Last of Us, just because it's so stinking predictable. And everyone else seemed to predict it too, and like, even though people are just saying word for word what's gonna happen while they're playing it, before it happens, hello. Um, they still cry over everything that happens, it's like, why are you crying? You knew it was gonna happen, it's so predictable. There's nothing shocking about anything. Whatever, we're not gonna get on the case about The Last of Us, because it just makes everyone angry, but yeah, I don't really like that game. But, this place what, was is I, apart. what was I trying to say? It was just like, I enjoy be just being to oblivious to everything, so it'd be funny if something I said for once actually did end up happening. That would be a pretty interesting plot twist, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, like I said, this is a blind LP, and uh, if it ends up being true, I didn't spoil anything, I'm just speculating, because I don't even know what's going to happen. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't put the word blind in all the titles, it just looks tacky to me. Like, if you're watching the video, then you know whether or not it's blind. Um, I would, I would assume you know whether or not the LP is blind. Uh, for anyone, really. So, I don't think I need to have it in the title or the thumbnail or anything like that. It just looks tacky. I just want to have it look nice Tara, and clean. You should come have a look. I think I found something. I have, like, somewhat considered doing episode titles, but... I don't know, I feel like if I started doing episode titles now, I'd want to go back through every single LP I've ever done and give them episode titles as well. I know this. And I feel like I would just never come up with creative titles. Every title would either just be the name of a town, or a character that we meet, or it would just be like, a pun of something that is gonna happen. Just like all the Pokemon titles, basically. Speaking of Pokemon, there's a Pokemon Marathon, so I'm skipping on that too, just so I could uh, record all of this, so you better appreciate it! I'm missing out on Blade Strangers? And on stinking Pokemon. And speaking of Blade Strangers, apparently there's someone online for competitive play in Blade Strangers right now who's named Midnight, and everyone in the Blade Strangers Discord thinks it's me. I'm just like, nope, I haven't picked up the game yet. <laughs> Been too busy with this. There's apparently three different box art covers for Blade Strangers. I'm sorry, I'm talking over literally all of this. There's apparently three different box arts for Blade Strangers, and uh, one of them has Kawase in the front, one has Curly Brace, and one has Quote. I want to get the one with Curly Brace just because, like, it looks the coolest out of the three, and I like Curly as a character. Uh, I don't know, the one with Kawase just stands out too much, it looks weird. I kind of wish that they went back to the original boxer idea, but they changed it because apparently everyone thought that Lena had big stinking thighs, or she was super stinking thick, but no, it was just her boots and the logo was covering it, which looks really funny. Uh, let's see, nothing else over here, but yeah, I want to get the curly box art. Hopefully, if I don't end up getting it, then I could trade with someone on the Blade Strangers Discord. And apparently, it comes with either a Kawase keychain or a Solange keychain. And gee, I wonder here. which one I want. The Coda Princess one or the not Coda Princess one? Uh, offer cookie? There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. You're not hungry for frozen cookies in an abandoned carnival? What? Eh, probably for the best. <laughs> You want some gun? Nope. So yeah, that was a nice little dialogue segment just going on about Blade Strangers and uh, thinking about blind LPs and stuff. Uh, do we have anything else we could examine? Okay, there's a bunch of stuff we, we could examine. Uh, just go through here. I assume we gotta make a bed or something. We're still just trying to figure out what this place is. <laughs> Down it goes. Guess it was useless. Uh, it's gonna make the wind come out. Is it? Nope, okay. Got a little pirate flag. Oh, pirate pillow! Even better! I guess we'll bring it over to her because we can't really pick up anything while we got our hands full. Uh, do we make a bed? Yep. Set up a bed. This doesn't look familiar in the slightest. I kind of don't like how 
all of Kara's segments seem Alice? to be just take care of Alice. Um, hello. It was sort of like my same problem with like Madison and Heavy Rain, how a lot of her segments, like she had her action segments as well, but a lot of them were just like, let's heal Ethan because I'm the girl and then take care of the guy because I'm the nurse or whatever. Like, it was just weird. I don't know. I kind of wish that the girls had more action. And then in Ellen Page, it was nothing but action with Ellen Page, but then it had no direction with the story. It was very awkward and I didn't like it. <laughs> Do you think we'll be like them someday? Happy? Sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Oh, she's happy! Come on. Let's get you to bed. Uh, Tuck Allison, is that really? Uh, Tuck Allison, um, is that? No, we can do more things. So, I assume that's gonna be the last thing we do. No, I'm not gonna read again. Biggest mistake of my life. What the? Read this? I was like, I'm not gonna read. Read something. It's a restaurant. Okay. Uh, look outside. Nothing here. Uh, there's two other things. That's the book again, then that's Alice. Guess there's nothing left to do. You're not gonna sleep on, on there, you're just gonna sit there. I don't know if we're about to need to sleep, or if you can feel the cold, but... I don't know, I feel bad. Uh, we'll see what happens. excited to tell a story you have 9,000 memory but I can only choose three of them uh princess this is a story about a princess who no not a story like that make one up for me this is a story all about how girl. my life got flipped turned upside down who lived alone in a big old house she dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot, who was just as lost as the little girl, so they decided to run away together. Find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but but they wanted so badly to be free that they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met a gallant prince. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of, and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. Family! We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. She considers us family now. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, now you got to tell a story. Oh, I'm so happy. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. 
Okay, group hug. Or just go to bed. Talk to Luther. Okay, Luther, time for your bedtime story. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Oh, there's something I missed? Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Kara! This is awkward. Zombies? Robots? Zombies? Seriously? Oh, jeez. Uh, protect Alice, obviously. Hopefully there wasn't another option that was, like, a lot better. Busted just down like the you. doors. Our name is Jerry. Our? We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? Sleeping? We were looking for shelter for the night. And you just destroyed we're it, thanks. Tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. I want to go to bed. She looks sad. Yeah, because I was sleeping. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? No. Last time she a crazy robot then. wanted to show her something, it was a Alice, dead, stinking animal. Come on, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. But it's a game about choice! Ugh. <sighs> Why is it whenever I want to make a choice, it doesn't let me? Okay, let's see this Pirates Carnival. Hopefully it's better than the Wii game. Or was it Wii or- I think it was GameCube. Be our guest. Jerry's joined. Reactivate carousel. I don't want to. It's the middle of the night. It's freezing cold. We could do this later. Well, that was easy. The little one can climb on board. The but carousel is about ride. to begin. Oh, we gotta pick a good one. That one's kind of creepy. I don't get a choice. Cool. <laughs> I wanted to see if like, I could have like one of those heavy rain moments when he's trying to lift his two sons, but no, I just pressed it once and I was like, okay, that's enough. I guess one Alice is lighter than one Jason and one Sean. I'm having fun! Wee! Look at that one! What the fruit? <laughs> Okay, maybe the seahorse was the best one out of the two, because we have the two blowfish and then the one seahorse. Also, yeah, three stinking seats for an entire carousel? What the fruit? She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Oh, everyone's so happy. They're all jumping with joy.
Okay, we got quite a lot in there. You get a lot of points. I wonder if it's possible to unlock all the unlockables. I've been trying to get some of them uh, in between segments. Uh, just see what there is. It's mainly just like artwork. Uh, you can see E3 videos and trailers. There are some special videos that I think are only from uh, this game. So haven't unlocked them yet. But I'm wondering if there's enough points to where you could get everything in one playthrough or do you have to get a hundred percent in order to unlock all the things because i guess it wouldn't make sense for them to give you multi more points than needed to unlock everything but at the same time it would just be convenient so i don't know i'll just have to wait and see but okay if riding the carousel in the middle of the night makes her happy then i guess i'll just have to deal with it